Hello, today's video is going over vinyl. So, uh, when I'm doing upholstery, I work with mostly marine grade vinyl as opposed to just your normal vinyl because I do uh, motorcycle seats and somewhat uh, boat seats or jet skis and all that. So, if I have marine grade vinyl, it's kind of a little bit more protected from the sun and from water as opposed to just your regular vinyl. Um, you can get vinyl in everything from uh, shiny to matted colors to uh, perforated, the ones with holes in it. You can get uh, it pebble texture, smooth, uh, a fiber, a carbon fiber looking uh, vinyl. Uh, all sorts of everything from simulated ostrich to alligator to um, snake skin simulation on there too. So uh, as you can see from these sample sheets, you got a fan of all different colors and all different styles. Um, in this book, you even got the uh, weathered looking leather. By Carrera, I believe they're called right here, and so you got all sorts that you can choose from as far as color, texture, and everything. Uh, when working with vinyl like this, like any vinyl here, you'll have a stretchy side, and then you'll have a side that doesn't stretch so much. So, as you can see, this side doesn't stretch as much. And this side stretches more. So when I'm doing my project or seat or whatever, you kind of want to know what side stretches as opposed to what. So this side stretches. So I'll mark that with an arrow so you know what side stretches. You can uh, use a pencil on the back when you're making your patterns to see what side stretches. So, say for instance, on this motorcycle seat, this area right here, when I'm pulling down and trying to tuck it under to rivet it to the bottom, I'll want this to stretch this way. I don't need it to stretch this way because I'm not pulling it to tighten it this way. So, for instance, right here, this piece from this piece here where it's sewn on, I want it to stretch down so I can pull it and stretch it tight to rivet it under. And you want to make sure that you're doing that on every piece that you're cutting out. So this piece will stretch up. This piece will stretch down. This piece, I stretch it this way to stretch the front to give you a nice tight fit. And it all works together to form the seat when you're done. So uh, that's just a little clue. They do make a vinyl that stretches in all four directions that, uh, that I've never used before, but I see it out on the market. But this is just a little tip that helps you um, think while you're making your patterns so um, some of you might not have known that some of you might have when you're getting into it so that's something that you have to think about when you're making your pattern so I like I said I always know which way my vinyl stretching so I can make a pattern accordingly and uh, and uh, so it'll work together to stretch out to give you a nice tight uh, grip or a not, not not a nice work together to give you a nice tight fit on your seat so that's just one little tip working with vinyl on knowing which way your vinyl is stretch which side is stretching and which side isn't so um, hopefully that'll help you out and make your life a little bit easier when you're doing upholstery and they're not working against each other by having a, a side that doesn't stretch the right way that you need it to stretch on your project so um thanks for watching and we'll be back in uh 
give you some more videos in the future. So have a good day and take care.